went to a lecture by uh, a professor I was told was anti-Israel uh, supporting the Palestinians without any basis and uh, I had to go see for myself so I went to listen to this professor Gary Berg of Wheaton College and he pretends to be an authority on the Bible misquotes a bunch of verses and then his whole thing is about all oh, the mean Israelis mistreat the poor Palestinians who have as much claim to the land as anybody else all of his stuff is completely specious and either the guy is just dumb or he is intentionally anti-Jewish, anti-Israel even though he says oh I'm pro-Israel, pro-Arab he is never, nothing of the kind the only examples he gives are uh, probably made up of uh, pretending to be an eyewitness of Israeli brutality and there you know though every time there's a claim of Israeli brutality by soldiers it's investigated by Israel and the soldiers are prosecuted check uh, Google plenty of evidence of that but the Arabs who send 10,000 missiles at Israeli schools to kill uh, innocent Israeli school children or the jihadists and terrorists all over the world and the suicide bombers they're celebrated by the Muslim by the Muslims uh, Arabs in uh, the West Bank. Abbas names streets after them, has parades, gives them special honors to kill Jews. So what are the main points? Basically the narrative of this guy Berg is that uh, the Palestinians have always been there, the Jews stole their land, and the uh, Jews have no uh, special claim to the land. It's all a lie. First of all, there was never a Palestinian people in history. The Romans, when they named that area from Judah to Palestine, the people living there were Jews. The Palestinian Post was the Jerusalem Post, the Israeli newspaper. Uh, there was never a Palestinian independent people. No flag, no money, no language, no culture. And there was some Palestinian guy who got up there at the lecture and said, oh, my people have been here forever. That's such a lie. Uh, all the investigations by legitimate researchers show that, that A, the Palestinians left on their own, the people that lived, that actually lived there, the few that did, because the Arabs who attacked Israel when Israel became a state in 1948, said, leave, and when we kill all the Jews, you'll come back and inherit their property. So the, the few left on their own. Unlike the Jews who were expelled from Arab countries, 750,000 between 1948 and 1950, and got nothing. But most of the people who claim to be Palestinians actually are descendants of carpetbaggers who came there from other countries uh, after the declaration of the state. Or, and Joan Peters, who wrote a book from Time of Memorial, is one of many, many books out there, where she started out buying this junk, and she actually researched it and realized it was all a crock, and her whole book from Time of Memorial is about how felonious this issue is. Uh, but the main issue is that he doesn't talk about the fact, A, that Israel has said we're willing to have a Palestinian state, but Abbas has to recognize there will be a Jewish state, which he won't. He doesn't even have Israel on the maps of the Middle East. Jews have to be allowed to live where they've lived for thousands of years, in Judea and Samaria, the West Bank, and, and Abbas has said many times, absolutely not. You have to, the Israelis say, you've got to stop violence, you've got to stop teaching violence and hatred. Well, they won't. Their nursery schools and kindergartens teach, and all their schools teach hatred of Jews and killing Jews. You just Google on the Internet, Palestinian children uh, singing to kill Jews. There's thousands of videos showing that. Their, their summer camps don't teach swimming and basketball. They teach them how to shoot guns and, and kill Jews. Uh, and so, and the terrorism, just think about worldwide terrorism. Uh, it's uh, the guy is so upside down in his twisted logic or thinking it's unbelievable if you, if um, and so as we think about all of this he's just basically got a a uh, misguided view and the purposely just another way of trying to hurt Jews and classic you know he said Jews have suffered under the hands of Christianity well Jews and Christians are doing just fine right now except for guys like this who are trying to bring anti-Semitism and anti-Israel, anti-Jew stuff into the back door. Uh, so I, those pastors who told me to go hear him, it was confirmed to me by what he said. I challenged him to a debate because I could easily refute everything he said. Um, in the nonsense, the bi biblical verse they completely misquoted, but of course he was too chicken to do that. Um, so uh, I think uh, you have to be warned about this guy who's out there preaching this crap.